The Exodus House is a 90-day inpatient treatment for men who are suffering from alcoholism and addiction. Addiction is a disease. It's not a choice that people make. It's hard for others to understand because they're not going through it. And no one will ever really truly understand unless they've been there or seen it firsthand. An active alcoholic or addict doesn't see how sick they really are and how they're affecting everybody's life. To see the pain in my loved ones' faces and what I was doing to them and coming from their hearts and the tears of how I was destroying them, I never saw that before. Too many people think it's willpower and if I only had the willpower, if I could only drink like, and that doesn't work for addicts and alcoholics. So understanding the disease portion is very important for the client and for the family as well. I think what's most surprising sometimes to family members is that it is a disease, that it appears that the person has just lost all care for other people. And I think when families come in, they are sometimes on the fence whether they believe that. Sometimes people think that that's a cop-out and we're leaving the person off the hook. What I tell my clients is it's not your fault you're an addict, but it is your responsibility now that you know that to recover and to take those steps that you need to to continue in your recovery. If you're an addict, you're not yourself. There's no true happiness in addiction. It's a hard journey, it's not easy, it takes a lot. People treat them as if they are bad people and have done things. It's really the other way around, they're very hurt people that have gotten addicted and, and don't know how to get out of it and they need to know that inside they're okay. Change is possible when people do lead clean and sober lifestyles that go on for years. Recovery is possible. I see miracles happen every day. The Exodus House will show you the way forward. We will show you step by step down that path to a better life. Exodus Transitional Care Facility is a place where men come to live for 90 days as they work on their chemical dependency in which they transition from a using lifestyle to a recovering lifestyle. A lot of people say that you know, when they're in the, the dregs that there is no hope for them. There is no such thing as recovery, and there is. I've seen it happen over and over. It seems impossible when you're stuck on the other side of that bridge, but all you have to do is take one step across, and you're on your way, and we can help you do that. The most important thing to know about Exodus House is that it's hope. When you walk through that door, there's hope, and there's a light at the end of your dark tunnel. If it weren't for Exodus House, I wouldn't be here right now. I owe everything to Exodus House. They gave me my life back. I am living today because of Exodus House. There's so many people in my past life that would say, there's no way that guy's still sober. I'm living proof that it works, and you could ask a lot of people. The Exodus House taught me how to live life without uh, drinking and using, which I thought was impossible. The rewards on the other side are boundless, endless. The rewards of a sober life are, are beyond your expectations because Nobody ever thinks that their life is going to be any different than it is, and, and my life is so different. If anybody had told me that my life would be this great today, I'd have never have believed it. And that's the way it is for many of our men. The atmosphere is a home-like atmosphere. We're in a Victorian home that was built in the 1860s, so it's very home-like. They're blown away by the appearance in the house, how neat it is, how clean it is, that we have a full kitchen and a full-time chef. It, it gives you that sense of warmth where you can recover in a safe place um, with other people, the same problems and the same goals. What I would like people to see is just the overall house, the bedrooms, the living rooms, the kitchen, the dining room. It gives you a very homey feel, a warmth. It's got a lot of hardwood and old world stained glass. It's a very unique place, but it gives you a sense of comfort. We are a family, and so we share meals together, lunch and dinner. At Exodus Transitional Care, we offer a continuum of care, which includes primary treatment, transitional treatment, and when people complete a 90-day program here, we have two three-quarter way houses, which are sober living environments in which men who are all working a recovery lifestyle live together in a sober, safe environment. We offer them about 30 days of primary care, and during that time we try to help them accept their disease, 
break through any denial so that they might work a program of recovery. Because this is a community of men here, they form relationships here, it's really helpful that they are able to interact and work through conflicts with one another. They need that community. They need the practice in being social. They've got to get them to reintroduce themselves to themselves, minus their using habits. We reintroduce them to a social level to society, and they have to learn how to do it themselves. We have a continuum of care, which includes our three-quarter way houses. We have one right across the street. We call it the White House because it's white. And we also have a place called the Harmony House. We have three quarter way houses that you are more than welcome to stay in if you're having trouble getting housing someplace else. And if you need more of a structure after you leave here, we have those places available. We are based on the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous. You will receive individual care, individual counseling, group counseling. We have groups to help you if you have an educational need, um, if you have a life skill need such as budgeting. Our philosophy is really abstinence-based. What that means is we let them know that controlled drinking or controlled using is probably not going to work for them. We believe that staying away from all mood-altering drugs, drink or drug, is necessary to live a sober life. Being addicts and alcoholics, it's so easy for us to go back to thinking that using substances will help. It doesn't. One of the important skills that we teach here are our socialization skills. Uh, when the men come in, they've been in addiction for quite a while, many of them just living off the streets, and so when they come in here, they've forgotten who they are and how to talk and how to get along with each other, so they need to know how to listen and to be able to um, communicate, because communicating is really hard when all you've done is try to survive and look after yourself for so many years. They receive counseling to help them go out into the world and be successful, clean, sober. It gives them the tools so that they don't relapse. In the next two months then, we help them in job readiness, make out resumes, find a job, and try to get them within 90 days actually working and being productive citizens once again. And there's plenty of choices you can make when, you, when you're talking to somebody here. They can give you all kinds of different options. There's choices you can make as a loved one on what to do, how you proceed next with your individual or loved one who's affected by this disease. Give us a call and we'll be able to help you navigate down that path. You can go on our website, and we have a lot of information out on our website. You can call us here, and I'm more than willing to talk to anyone who calls. I'll take the time to talk. Please call. We'll help you start your new path towards sobriety, sober life. Recovery is possible.